Hello guys, this is Mar of Infotech.com and on this video we're going to look at the features and changes included on Windows 10 build 17.692. This is a new test version of Windows 10 version 18.09 expected to release later this year. Now let's have a closer look at the most important changes in this release. On Windows 10 build 17.692, now when you do a search, Now when selecting the text, we'll open a new context menu that uses the Fluent Design System, which is a menu very similar to the one found on the Read and View experience for Microsoft Edge, that allows you to cut, paste, and copy text, and even undo or select all the text. Also, if your query is about getting a new application, now the result on the right side will include a link to download the application from the official download page. In this new REST on file update, we also have a new game bar experience, which alongside the previous settings, you will now find options to control system audio, and for apps and games individually. Also, there's a new performance section that allows you to see the frame rate for games, as well as CPU usage, system RAM usage, GPU usage, and VRAM if available. You can even pop a widget out to get the game bar out of the way while still be being able to see the system performance while you're playing games. But as you can see, this feature still needs work. In addition, build 17.692, there are some new improvements for game mode. For example, according to Microsoft, gaming should now perform better than, than in previous versions, and users with a lot of background processes should now see a boost in performance when using the dedicated resources options in the performance section of the game bar. Now let's move into the settings app. In the apps and features page, now Microsoft is setting the option to install apps to warn me before installing apps outside of the store, which still allows you to install applications from different sources, you will get a warning. Previously, the default option was allowed apps from anywhere, but it appears that Microsoft now wants to push even further users to use the Microsoft Store to get apps. Also from the Manage Optional Features page, it is now possible to install the WebDriver component if that's something that you need to use. Windows 10 Build 17.692 is also adding some improvements to ease of access. In the Display page, you will now find a new section called Make Everything Bigger, that allows you to change the side of the text on your display. Just use the slider to select the side and click Apply. You will now see the new size for the text apply everywhere. In the Settings tab, Start Menu, Microsoft Store Apps, and Classic Win32 Programs. On the uh, narrator page, you will now find two additional options, but Microsoft is also adding a few new improvements, but I'll be leaving a link on the video description below so you can find out more about these additional improvements and to find even more details about this preview. On update and security, you won't find new settings, but you will find that Microsoft is moving the delivery optimization to the left pane at the bottom of Windows Update. Before you needed to drill down inside of Windows Update and go to Advanced Options and click on the delivery optimizations link. And that's pretty much all that's new for the settings app on Windows 10, build 17, 692. On the Windows Security app, you will now see that it has been updated with the Rebuild Highlight effect. 
part of the fluent design system. Also, now if we go to the uh, virus protection and then we go to the settings, now we see that the previously called attack surface reduction feature is now named block suspicious behaviors. Also, if we go to the to the ransomware protection page, now we get a new section that allows us to see the accounts that we may be able to recover files in case of a ransomware attack. If you click the uh, view files, it will just simply open File Explorer on that location. With Build 17692, the touch keyboard experience is getting updated with Microsoft Swift technology already available on Android and iOS to make more accurate auto corrections and predictions based on your typing habits. Finally, also Microsoft says that if you use Windows Mixed Reality, the experience no longer requires a physical monitor in case you want to use the experience with a backpack PC. And it is also possible to stream audio to the speaker and headset simultaneously with this update. And that's all that's new with Windows 10 build 17692, part of the Redstone 5 update coming later in 2018. And as usual, it is not recommended to install pre-releases of Windows 10 on your primary machine as you will encounter problems and things not working. Also remember to check the video description below for the link to get even more details about this preview. And that's all there is to it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.